years ago, uh, uh, David, David Lima invited me to, to join him to, to visit uh, Valado in Portugal. And I said, all right, that will be fun. Let's do this. So once we came, uh, when we arrived here in uh, the Douro Valley, all the landscape, I never seen anything like this. From the airplane, on the bus, all the way here, it was just, I could never imagine such a beautiful place like the Douro Valley. And then we arrived in the, in the place, Valado. We spent some time here and I thought, okay, this was an experience of a lifetime. It will never happen again. Well, good thing I'm uh, friends with uh, David Lima because it happened twice more. The, now is the fourth time. But this time uh, is, uh, we came on a, on a quest, on, on a mission to do something, to accomplish something. I think two years ago, I was here in, uh, in Douro at Christmas time. And uh, all, the, all the time I come up to, uh, to Porto to visit my family, I try to come up to Douro to get some inspiration for a new year. And I knew that one big friend of mine, Jan Enkel, he will turn 40 on the 12th of February, 2018. I decided to give a special present. She says, as a big friend, I don't want to buy something just to buy it. I want something that would be unique. So when I was here up um, in Douro at Valado, I was actually talking with Francisco Ferreira. And uh, I asked, you know, can I get something from you from Valado that something unique for this special friend? In Douro, you know, even though you do very, very good dry wines, port wine is the, is the king, is actually my favorite wine. And uh, he had a barrel with an eight years old port wine and he was very kind to fix me a bottle. So I was very thrilled because I tried the wine and it was top of the line, one of the best that I try in my life. And, you know, for me it was quite simple to put it in a nice package and give it as a 40 year old uh, present que já sem, sem mesmo testar o vinho eu já, já me emocionei, né? porque não é todo dia que a gente recebe um, um, um presente desse calibre. Mas uh, quando a gente serviu o vinho, também por ele ser um grande amigo, a gente está bebendo vinho junto, uh, eu não sei, quando eu bebi o vinho já, já me arrepiei. Uh, super uh, especial, uh, equilibrado, se sentia muito uh, uh, como, como sendo um produto extra classe, um produto especial. Então eu queria que tu explicasse um pouquinho como é que surgiu o Valado et Carbon, como é que surgiu esse vinho tão especial. Bem, antes de mais nada é preciso valorizar uh, os nossos antepassados que nos deixaram uh, vinhos de Porto numa qualidade fantástica e sem isso não era possível. O nosso trabalho foi o trabalho mais fácil, que no fundo foi fazer um blend e tentar melhorar uh, cada uma das partes. Por isso este vinho basicamente é uma mistura de dois vinhos, um com cerca de 80 anos de idade, um vinho com mais concentração, com mais complexidade, com mais volume de boca e depois um vinho um pouco mais novo, com cerca de 40 anos de idade, que lhe vai dar um pouco mais de frescura, mais de vivacidade, mais acidez e eu acho que é fantástico uh, ter dois produtos uh, ou dois vinhos Ambos muito bons, mas depois a conjugação de ambos tornar uma coisa ainda mais especial e ainda melhor. E aquilo que disseste é muito importante, porque o que nós queremos, e eu acho que estes vinhos do Porto têm esta característica de causar, além de serem grandes vinhos, causar emoção às pessoas. E eu acho que estes vinhos realmente é, é, é inacreditável, a emoção, pensar que têm tantos anos de idade, que evoluíram tão bem, que passaram por, pelas mãos de tantas pessoas, e continuarem a, ser, a evoluir cada vez melhor e, e, e por isso fico muito contente de ter feito este vinho e acho que vai ser um vinho que vai dar muitas alegrias ao carbono, à Quinta de Valado, mas especialmente a quem o beber porque vai dar, enfim, vai, são vinhos únicos e irrepetíveis. Eu estou extremamente feliz que tinha uma quantidade necessária para a gente apresentar para os nossos clientes no restaurante e, e eles ter a uh, noção do, do, da capacidade uh, de produção de do, um do, do vinho de extrema qualidade que vocês fazem aqui no Valar. Uh, só fortalece a nossa amizade, a nossa relação e, e, e a oportunidade uh, 
uh, de apresentar pelo menos durante um, um período uh, esse vinho tão especial para os nossos clientes. Sim, muito bom. Ah, isso é muito bom. <risos> Francisco, from the last 15 years that I know, uh, uh, and a part of being a, a good friend now, is um, is showing on his wines all the passion that he has for this region. Uh, is one of the the top ones from Portugal. Uh, he has a huge, huge passion for what he's doing. All the good that he can do transforming the grapes from the region into to a bottle of wine. I think through the years, a part of the, our friendship, I'm really thrilled that how can innovate in terms of wines, in terms of thinking, and uh, taking the Douro Valley to another level. Talking about paying attention to detail today, we just jumped into a, a Defender Land Rover from 1968. And uh, we drove up to the, the old uh, vineyard. So there we found vines that are over a hundred years old. And Francisco Ferreira, the winemaker here, he was um, explaining every corner of the vineyard, the exposition uh, to south, north, you know, think about someone that is really knowledgeable about his uh, handcraft and his um, area, all the, the, the things he has to work with, he was on top of everything, you know, like... Uh, and listening to, the, to him talking about each part of the vineyard, which has, by the way, proper names, Vinha da Coroa, Vinha da Granja. So every corner he knows the size of it, how many plants there is. They have GPS control over every single plant. If you think, okay, well, why, why would someone do that? It's almost like uh, taking care of your child, you know, like... Uh, and then if you ask someone about your child, you know when he was born, when he, he, he lost his first tooth, the man knows everything about every single corner of the, of the vineyard, you know. And this shows how much he cares about it, you know, like... And, uh, and it reflects on the product, it reflects on the, on the wine that he makes. Uh, which for me is, uh, uh, as a customer, as, a, as someone that, 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 that buys the wines from Valado, is a stamp of quality. I know that every bottle that I'm going to open is, is going to, we're going to pour quality in the glass. Speaking about these very old vineyards, uh, they are special, they, they have many different grape varieties mix. In the past, they, they plant these vineyards to make port wine. And something that it's interesting, most of these old vineyards, they had uh, about uh, 10 to 15% of white varieties. And uh, these vineyards, they were prepared to make towny port wines. Wines with more alcohol, about 20. And at the same time, sweet wines. They have probably the, the right blend in the vineyard, the field blend. Amazing taste, very old pop wines that at the same time are so concentrated, so sweet, but so balanced. Restaurant Carbon for me, it's uh, one of the raising stars restaurants in Gothenburg. It's uh, very cool, very relaxed, very easy going. Uh, the staff welcomes you and uh, of course, um, the high point of the restaurant probably is the, the material, the ingredients they use. Not only the main ones, but the side ones. I give you an example, they can prepare the, a nice vague, which is almost uh, impossible to do a big mistake, but on the side they can prepare, a, let's say, a nice mashed potato, and they put so much effort on it that in the end it's on the same level as the vague. So, um, regarding this, uh, this port wine for carbon, I'm uh, really happy and thrilled that uh, 
Jean decided to do it because I know he's very ambitious. I know he wants the, the best for his restaurant in terms of ingredients. So I know that was missing the piece of the puzzle and I'm totally sure that this port wine is this piece that's going to fit very well for the high ambitions of the restaurant and when people leave from there they have this mind souvenir this port wine that it will be will be finished like the cherry on top of the cake of this amazing experience well the carbon wines are old port wines so they were not made by by me uh, they were made by my father and people that worked with, with us we are very lucky because if we didn't have these outstanding wines that were made in the past, it was impossible to make a so special and unique wine as Carbon. Different, so different generations of your family in a bottle. Is of course, it? of course, it's, yes. and it's fantastic. Also. Okay, uh, Francisco. So we have these uh, two different wines here. If uh, you could explain what we have. Yes, we have a wine, a younger wine that is about uh, 40 years old and then a much older wine with about 8 years old. I think both together it will do a fantastic blend. And what do you suggest that uh, the blend would be how much of each uh, wine? Then? My idea, of course we must uh, taste, but my idea was to put about 70% uh, of the younger wine and 30% of the older wine, because this older wine, just a small quantity will uh, be a big impact in the final wine. So I think 70, 30, it will be okay. As you see, this one, it's, of course, it's also powerful and complex, but it's very elegant, very fresh, and it, it has these notes, some citric notes that are some orange, that it's fantastic. The old wine, it's a unique wine, it's a wine with lots of concentration, lots of uh, different flavors, it remembers old furniture, it remembers coffee, uh, cacao, the nose of this wine, it's outstanding. And this is, well, unbelievable. Mm. So you were talking about um, you have more uh, complexity in the older wine, and uh, but it, we could have more balance if you blend yes. uh, a younger wine that could benefit from what more acidity, maybe. Yes, yes, more f more freshness, more elegance. The second one, it's an outstanding experience, but I think it's a wine to drink just a little bit. And uh, both together, I think they will be fantastic. And what would you suggest uh, uh, on the blend? How much of each? I was thinking in 70% of the younger wine and 30%. What do you think? I like it um, a lot, I have to say. Uh, really, really understand what you're saying, that one complement each other. You can, you can really feel it, the freshness uh, uh, with the blend comparing to, to having only the, the, the 80 years old. I just think that if we could try maybe a little uh, higher percentage of the, the old one, maybe if we do 40% instead of 30. Yes, I agree. I think mm. it's... Uh, so you can try that? Of course. We still have the balance, but here we have more complexity. I'm really happy with that. For me, this is it. Yes. Yeah, like, uh, the, the second blending for me is I agree. perfect. So, teaching. <laughs> Thank you for this. Thank you. To be honest with you, the, the shape of this place, the attention for the detail, if someone asked me how many people are working in this place just to keep this place as it is, I would say, no less than 100 people. Yeah. But you see very few people 
working in the place and we met, for instance, a guy picking kale in the garden and uh, he was so uh, humble, you know, like we asked him, can we take some pictures while you're doing this and uh, what is this that you're picking? And then with a big smile, he just uh, explained the whole thing that he's doing there and we can see that this guy, you know, like he's picking the vegetables for my dinner and he's so happy doing this, he's so humble. So the whole uh, environment of Alad is integrated, you know, like the gardens, they produce the vegetables, the fruits that are going to be served for the guests in the hotel. The people producing or cooking the food is the same people that pick the food in the garden. The wines that are served were made for the people that live in the place, uh, serving the food that was made in the place and collected in the place. So it's so uh, strong DNA of uh, Valado, of everything that is done here. Uh, probably the best destination would if someone, any friend would ask me, where should I go to celebrate my 50th anniversary of, I would just suggest Valado because it's guaranteed you're gonna have the time of your life here. You know? like it's, uh, every minute that you spend in this place is memorable. The experience of being in the vineyard to go through all the old winery, the vines and, and get everything explained. The tradition uh, to see how proud uh, uh, Francisco is about his uh, uh, family uh, handcraft is um, magic. Um, and now I feel like this, this journey is complete. You know, we have uh, the wine done, bottled and uh, labeled ready for our guests to experience what I have experienced already.